Hey y'all, what's good? This be your boy Scotty by Nature TV and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday and I intend on doing the exact same. What's going on y'all? Now before we get into anything, let's Let's get into the church announcements first. Now, the first things first, today is Tuesday, which means that Love and Hip Hop Atlanta is returning for the second part of season 11. We will be doing live reviews every Tuesday night right after the show. So make sure you guys tune in. The link is already available. So if you're interested in watching my live review of the show, be sure to go over to my page. Click on, the li- click on the link and make sure you set your reminders for the show, all right? Mm-hmm. Then on Wednesday night, which is tomorrow, be sure to tune into the Chase and Panel. Tune in as Scotty, Jamar, Terrence, Tramiel, Carl, and Jeremy Speaks all come together to discuss the 12th episode of Chasing Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Then on Friday, we will be back for the Bill Collective Live Review for the second part of Bill Collective Reunion, mm-hmm. as well as on Saturday, we will be back for the LAMH part two of their reunion as well. And there will also be a live video that myself, Terrence, and Josiah will be doing on Mm -hmm. Josiah's channel. So make sure you guys Mm -hmm. get into that. I'm going to put the link down below in the description box so y'all can go over there and um, set your reminders and things like that. Also, another thing that I also want to address is that there are people that that are letting me know about the glitches in my videos. I'm well aware of the glitches. StreamYard is glitching once again, and I'm trying to find another streaming platform platform so just to keep everybody from for constantly reminding me about the glitches i'm aware i'm just working with this until i find something else i thought that once i bought another computer it would be fine but it looks like it's glitching all over again so we're gonna have to find us another um streaming platform to go to because Streamyard is really out of my control at this point okay but that's all a part of the rebrand that i'm doing so with that being said let's go ahead and get into what we're here to talk about and that is miss funky dineva honey okay now apparently the people were watching his live last night which had over fourteen thousand people in his live right and people were saying that he was shading the fox soul okay now let's get into what he said at the very beginning now funky dineva posted a post basically saying at 8 p.m eastern he was going on YouTube live and this is what he said he said listen carefully children in 2024 I'm done letting people play in my face folks want to talk peace and love to your face but behind your back they're talking mad ish throwing unnecessary shade scheming and conniving all because they are mad folks have chosen to make something personal that was never personal then when you call them on it they want to pretend like they didn't know it was it wasn't intentional and a bunch of other lies listen here everyone sees this for what it is but know that two can play this game we will see you at eight all right so when he put that out there the first thing that people thought that he was talking about was fox soul in tgil even though the split was amicable and claudia jordan had nothing but nice things to say and so did slow ass al reynolds have some um nice things to say about funky dineva once he decided to part ways and funky dineva said it wasn't a personal thing between him and the other co-host it was more so about the pay and what he felt like he deserved okay so that was pretty much the gist of it but then when he went live in the last few minutes of the live he spoke on people who were claiming that the live that he posted was clickbait and he wanted to address it and most people think that he's talking about claudia jordan when it comes down to this particular situation so we're about to go ahead and listen in on this and then i'll be back with my commentary let's get into it y'all now lastly y'all this we finna get into whoever that said this was clickbait it wasn't clickbait bitch i never told y'all i was going in on anybody and i know that's what some of y'all tuned in for that's not my tea i don't get down like that I like love, peace, and happiness. I just saw the bullshit that a bitch pulled for what it was, and I had to let that hoe know I got her number and don't play with me in my motherfucking face, smiling and kicking while you conniving and doing some shady ass shit in the background. It's a lot of shady shit going on in the background that's been going on in the background since day one, and I've stayed quiet about it, and I'm going to remain to stay quiet about it because I don't indulge in mess, and I don't like being in beef with drama. In drama with people, but bitches is not gonna play in my face in 2024. In my life, I've always been taught to be the bigger person, and I'm gonna be very honest with y'all. I don't care what the Bible saying, I don't care what your mama and all of them say. Being the bigger person has never served me. There are people who I have there are people who I have shown grace to 
who I should have punched in the fucking face. And literally in 2024, that's the energy that I'm on. I'm not being the bigger person anymore. I'm not turning the other cheek anymore. You fuck with me. I'm calling you out. I'm calling out your antics, your little games. I'm letting you know that I fucking see you. And bitch, two can play. It's as simple as that. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't bother people. I stay in my own little corner. I do my little commentary. I go down to the bar and get drunk. I don't bother nobody. So don't come fucking with me. And that's literally what it boils down to. But y'all want to talk about Kelly Price. Like I... When I exited, I put this hour time into building up somebody else's platform. And quite frankly, I could just be building building mine. Um, I didn't have any plans on um, coming on and doing a live tonight at 8 o'clock. But um, bitches decided to play in my face. And I decided to meet them where they was at. You know, when you go to hell, when you go low, I go to hell. And um, hey, I'm a free agent now. What y'all think? Um, every Friday night, I mean, every night, 8 o'clock, same place, same time. Y'all think that's cute? Same place, same time, every night, 8 o'clock, different wigs, different wigs, yeah. You know, one of my New Year's resolutions, and y'all heard me, was to say, stop spending frivolous money put more energy into my own business and do my work. Um, so yeah, I'm already conditioned to sitting here at eight o'clock. I just think we can do the same time and then we can freestyle, do whatever we want to do. We can bring fans on. We can bring guests on. We could bring the reality TV girls on. Um, we could do some Carlos King type interviews. I mean, we literally could build this thing out any way we want to and talk about the goings on. We can talk about local news. We can have some deep shows and talk about relationships and just really do the Lord's work. We could really do the Lord's work. I think that's what we're going to do. Q unfiltered. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, You know, I miss when I have too. I'm mean, feeling real fishy, bitch. Just fishy, honey. What y'all hoes? What y'all Q and the crew? Oh, my friend Lanisa Sweeting said Q and the crew. Q and the funky butt, honey. Oh, bitch, I'm, I'm feeling sissy. I'm feeling sissy. Oh, I'm feeling real. You know what's so funny, y'all? I'm actually like, uh, of, of course she's talking about me on Fox. So, I mean, that's just what she do. Um, that's, that's just what she do. Or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> but what these numbers do? What do, what these numbers doing? <laughs> sitting up over there mad. Over a situation she created. Sitting up over there mad. Whatever. Um, don't talk to me. Talk to the talk to you. Talk to them numbers. Collectively, there's never been 14,000 in the chat over there. And I did it alone. Who needs who? Collectively, there's never been 14,000 over there. I did it alone. Who needs who? All right, so after that was stated on his live last night, this is also what he posted on Instagram. Now, he posted the numbers on his own, and he circled that it was over 14,000 people in his live, and he had over 7,000 likes as well. And he also said 14,478 viewers. That's 14,478,000 viewers. Now, what was said, you never win when you play dirty. Let's see just how far being conniving, scheming, and trifling gets you. It didn't work, all right? It didn't work. So that is what Funky Dineva had to say, and I'm guessing there has been a little bit of, um, 
discord between him and Miss Claudia Jordan because that's what the rumors is going around and that's what he kind of alluded to at this particular point. Uh, now, I don't know exactly what has gone down between him and Claudia, but I do know that when he left and we were all discussing this the, um, the other day, he did say that it was an amicable split. Everybody, um, you know, everybody was aware that he probably was not going to renew his contract and things would be fine. But people are suspecting that the reason why he feels like he's being played with is because Flame Monroe was brought in as a, one of the replacements on said TGIF show when before, when Claudia Jordan had allegedly um had allegedly uh, suggested him to be like a replacement or a guest host or something like that. Funky did not want Flame Monroe on the show. And now that he's gone, the first person that we see on the show is Flame Monroe. And now I guess he feels like he's being played with and, and being, you know, schemed against at this point. I don't really know what's true and what's not. I'm just telling y'all what the, what the people are saying in the streets and what we're hearing in these streets. Now, one thing about it is, and one thing for so, so certain is that TGIF comes on every single night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And Funky Dineva decided to go live tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time to go up against TGIF. Now, I've never known TGIF to have, you know, out of this world numbers like that. But what I will say is that TGIF had about 3K in the chat. But Funky Dineva by himself without production and just a raggedy wig and some lipstick, he pulled in 14,000 people in his chat. And one thing about it, and two things for certain, that, that, that goes to show you how, how much of a force Funky Dineva really is. Now, you guys already know, I be having my opinions about Funky Dineva, and I've always told you guys that I don't have a problem with Funky Dineva. I actually like him, but I have to hold him accountable when he says some bullshit. Now, there are some things that Funky Dineva says that I don't agree with, and then there are some things where I nod my head. I'm like, bitch, you got, you, you telling the truth. You know what I mean? And on top of that, let's be honest, as a gay LGBT content creator, Funky Dineva is one of those people that most of us gay male YouTubers look to. OK, he was one of those people that started off on YouTube, had a brand, you know what I mean? Had this persona that took him to new heights and he was able to be recognized for TV. And he's not just a YouTuber anymore. He's an entertainment personality at this particular point. And by him being on TGIF, I'm pretty sure that he can go other places besides that. I mean, at the end of the day, he's showing what, what his power really is, and he does have that power, and the funky bunch is a big bunch for 14,000 people to tune in. You know what I mean? On a live. Most of the people that I watch personally, I've never seen them get 14,000 people in the live, so that is really big, and that is brilliant on his end. So it goes to show you that your talent really speaks for itself. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You let your talent speak, and you keep it pushing, and that's exactly what Funky Dineva is doing. Um, he's back to the videos. He's more consistent at this particular point, and he's doing his thing. And um, hey, it is what it is. I'm here for it all. But we're gonna see how this thing unfolds, and I want to know how it's going to unfold and all of that other stuff. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about this if more stuff comes out. And that's all I really got on this. So what do you guys have to say about this? Let's talk about it down below. Do you think that? There's discord between him and Claudia. Do you think that Claudia had Flame Monroe to come on as a guest after Funky Dineva said that he didn't want him, want her on the show? Um, you know what I mean? Didn't want. Oh God, I hope I didn't call Flame Monroe um him um before because I'd be I'd be very confused about what Flame Monroe um considers itself. You know what I'm saying? So. So I'm sorry if I if I messed it up. But um, do you think that she was being messy by having him on as a guest? Um, and do you think that Funky Dineva was being petty when he decided to go live at the same time as Fox? So let's talk about it down below, okay? So before we get up out of here, let's let's um pay a little bit of bills and then we're gonna be up out of here, you guys. All right. So mm -hmm. first things first, um, my boy Tremel, he's a part of my um chasing panel, okay, and he has a song out right now called Long Days, and it's available everywhere. So make sure you guys purchase and stream it, okay? Mm -hmm. Bando has a song out now called Bando's Dream, and it is now available on Spotify and Apple Music, as well as the YouTube. So make sure you guys cop it. All right. And also, Bando has another song out called DY, and it's also available everywhere right now. 
is up there for purchase and streaming. All right. So make sure you guys support the bando. All right. So with that being said, you guys, I'm your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, you guys, your boy is up out of here, and I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao. Mm -hmm.